Uh, hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to one of my live videos and today I'm going to be updating you on some more latest news that I have just currently uh, researched up. The latest news now is currently regarding Thomas Lehmar from Monaco, uh, the long growing speculation and this is probably classified now as one of Arsenal's main priority targets and Arsene Wenger. Basically looking like Sanchez is going to depart the club and he's going to hand in a current transfer request but Maybe the Thomas Lehmar is not officially dead, um, as the president did come out a couple of days ago as he did quote out and explain the situation regarding Lehmar, regarding Fabinho and regarding Keelan and Mbappe. He's standing firm, he's basically said he's reluctant to sell these players, he said the key, the very iconic and important figures for our team, as Monaco have lost a lot of their players. And plus, they've raised quite a lot of money, but they don't want to lose a lot of their players. Uh, I do think Thomas Lehmar, um, I think Thomas Lehmar is a, does admit that he wants to go. Arsene Wenger hasn't stood up and basically said he hasn't disregarded it, he's not going to happen. He's still pretty confident deep down that it will still happen. But this is what the vice president had quoted out, that Monaco are reluctant to sell the player. I think... Ongoing negotiations should be still going on with the two clubs and the player that trying to get a potential deal. But um, Arsenal have had bids rejected in the past. I think uh, the recent one was £45 million or was it £50 million that Arsenal have currently um, had rejected from Monaco for this player. They did classify him as a £70 to £80 million player, did Monaco. But Arsenal are very, very desperate. But according to this Italian journalist, um, I can't remember his name. Apparently, he's not uh, very reliable. He's promptly quoted out, basically, that the, um, the deal is confirmed and that he will be departing Monaco and that he will be um, going to Arsenal, um, Thomas Lema. So, yeah, basically, it looks like it's, it could still happen. It could still happen and um, he's still can, confident he can kept, get the pursuit of um, Thomas uh, Lehmark and um, Arsene Wenger. But they've also looked at other targets as well. To, uh, Jerry from uh, Nice, he was a player that's good. Did he make 34 appearances last season, 7 goals, 9 assists. They've also looked at Jan Coe, player from, I think is it under knees or something like that. Uh, they've looked at him also. They may not classify this as basically uh, if they capture Lema as an alternative replacement for Sanchez, but they've looked in for into the entirety of the summer of Arsenal, and that's is all they're hearing every day is the Tom, Tom, Thomas Lema uh, speculation. Monaco are not willing to sell the player, but the Italian journalist has come out and basically said uh, it could um, the deal could be done or it basically um, is done. So Arsenal may have to prepare another bid currently. Um, for the player, but Sanchez, as I mentioned on my uh, current last video, uh, I think he's now going to be handing in a transfer request. PSG have made inquiries yet again. Manchester City could be in the pole position to get the player, but Manchester City could be facing FFP. You know, due basically to the amount of money they've spent in this transfer window so far, about over two hundred million plus. PSG have made inquiries about Sanchez and PSG could also face the FFP, you know, with them, uh, the amount of money that's been at stake capturing uh, capturing uh, Neymar. But um, Sanchez looks like he's um, currently um, handing in a transfer request. He doesn't want to be at the club anymore. And that's basically it, really. And this is uh, being con it's nearly confirmed. City uh, it broke out yesterday from reports that... Um, they were going to offer him a £320,000 a week, plus the ads on, which would nearly take it to 400000 which he's been demanding at Arsenal. He's basically coming to an end of his contracts. PSG are probably willing to pay over £35 million or something. This is including the agent fees and the way uh, salary as well. So it's, that's going to come to a lot of money, let alone the Neymar case. But Neymar looks realistically now, guys, that it is currently um, going to happen. So, um, yeah, basically that's everything to update you today. This is only a quick video. Drop your comments, likes, below on the video, and subscribe to my channel as usual. And take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye.